Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of It's, it's a, a Good thing. thing! And the topic that I'm going to be telling you guys about is how to get people to like you from an FBI behavior expert. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> so as I'm reading this article, it's really interesting, but it says one of the most important things to do with any, anyone that you meet is seek someone else's thoughts and opinions without judging them. So that is the FBI's expert number one thing, which um, I think is very, very interesting because of today's culture especially is something is you don't believe the same as I do, you're a horrible human being and should be stopped. So yeah, pretty much the exact opposite of what Basically the exact <laughs> opposite of what our culture's tendency is. Oh, no wonder people don't like America. So I was thinking, well, but what if I'm talking with someone that believes completely different than what I do? But, and so how should I react? And it provided. Okay, so it says, what should you do when people start spouting crazy talk? And the guy's name is Robin, and he said, what I prefer to try to do is as soon as I hear something that I don't necessarily agree with or understand, instead of judging it, like you suck, is my first reaction is, oh, that's really fascinating. I never heard it in it quite that way. Help me understand. How did you come up with that? Tell me more. Do you what ever know anyone who does that? <laughs> Yeah. Very few. <laughs> that Very is few. So rare and so yes. precious. And I think if just a random person said, hey, you guys, we need to have conversations and we need to really not hate each other, and this is why, because I feel this way, then people are going to be like, well, okay. But they have an FBI expert to back all there this you up. Go. So, yeah. hmm. some of the world's foremost personality experts uh, always encourage conversations they're, when they're coaching you on how to have better conversations they encourage those conversations to be about the other person and mm -hmm. I've heard that many times before mm -hmm. that's right in line and uh, makes me feel like this guy's got some cred well what else yeah. does he say Jess? okay let's see studies show that people get more pleasure from talking about themselves than they do from food or money <laughs> so, so that goes back to what you're saying, James. Just, when you're asking people questions about themselves, they do good. Yeah. <laughs> so Even two. better than when they're full or when they're rich. Yeah. <laughs> and then people say, oh, that's enough about you. Now, that's more about it. me. <laughs> now, enough about me. What do you think about me? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and it's number two is suspend your ego to get people to like you. Suspend it in what? Water? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then the three is be a good listener, which is a no-brainer. Be a good listener. What? What? <laughs> oh, man. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. You got me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this one says the best question to ask people, which is a great question. I love is challenges. What kind of challenges do you have at work this week? What kind of challenge? Yeah, because people really like focusing on the negative. So that's easy. You know, like, what's your best traits? It's kind of like, oh, you know, they take a while. But if you say, what's your worst traits? And people just, oh, well, that's the <laughs> I noticed you didn't say, how well, much time do you have? What really sucked about your work week? He just said, what kind of challenges yeah. do you have? So that could be, well, I'm really working on this. I'm trying to overcome yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. It could be a positive challenge. It's more positive of a positive too, yeah. twist to kind of a negative uh -huh. mindset. And number five is Good how question. to make strangers feel at ease. First thing, tell them that you only have a minute because you're headed out the door. When people think that you're leaving soon, that they relax. If you sit down next to someone at the bar and say, hey, can I buy you a drink? Oh, the the pressure's on goes, now. Yeah, I'm never going to lose this person. They <laughs> said that the shields go way up. And so um, if you say, who are you, what do you want, and what are you leaving? that when are you leaving is what you've got to answer in the first couple of seconds. So when you meet someone, they're like, who are you? What do you want? When are you leaving? That means we gotta get through this. Number six is the best body language for building report. Ooh. Your words report. should be positive. Oh, report. Oh, yes. Report. report. Can you tell I learned yeah. that from the reading? The T is silent. Right. Yeah. Your words should be positive, free of ego and judgment, and your body language, non-verbals, need to match. So though, here are things that he recommends. The number one thing is you've got to smile. You absolutely have to smile. 
a, smi- uh, a smile. That's not a smile, honey. To engender trust. I got it. Oh, I just not got a smile. It. <laughs> you need to get that look. <laughs> Keep your palms How long have you had that up. Problem? <laughs> it's my got a smile. It's not working. It's not working. Okay. Are, you, are you giving us a minute? All right, another thing you all have to do is keep your palms up when you're talking as opposed to palms down. As says, I'm hearing what you're saying. I'm open to what your ideas are. And I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what if you have one up and one down? That means... Confused. Are you, <laughs> finished, are you finished meditating yet? I think this actually... I could be wrong and somebody could correct me on this, but I think this means dead or die in sign language. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I think I'm not sure. Does this means raised to life? Well, the point is, die to yourself to engage the other person's self. Yeah, that's the point. I, well, how Psychologist long do you have to keep everywhere. Doing yes. Okay. Number seven is how to deal with someone you don't trust. So that's it. Just smile and keep your palms. Yeah. Up. Well, that's yeah. it. Hey, but Some basic point is, have your words match your actions. Yes. All right, Not like that, seven, honey. Not like that. <laughs> is don't be hostile, but be direct. Ask them what they want. What are their goals in this interaction? What? You don't actually, I don't think you'd actually say, what are your goals with this company? Hi, I've never met you before. What do you want out of this interaction? For you to leave! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm going to What do you want out of this interaction? <laughs> <laughs> Two big takeaways for me is, hey, smile. And forget the palm thing, but... <laughs> But ask questions. That's a really good one. Smile, ask questions. Don't be come across as the expert judger. Let me ask you a question. When you were in Taiwan, did you find that the Taiwanese culture was very different than the American culture in this respect? If so, how? Well, uh, 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 um, a lot of Taiwan is really based around uh, media and cell phones. So if we go out to eat on dinner, it's... Oh my god. So it wasn't that much interaction. That's so good. <laughs> yeah. Children do not try that at home. Isn't that considered the palms up though? Oh, there you <laughs> go. Palms up. There you go. <laughs> All right. So Can't do it palms down. Okay. okay. Well, well, guys, thanks again for tuning in to another episode. We hope you found it informative, yes. fascinating, and entertaining. Body language too. This episode is brought to you by Palms Up. Thumbs up. Bye. 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 <laughs>